Violence has escalated in Palestine after months of ongoing tension across the region. This has been the worst of the violence in over a decade. Over 11,400 Palestinians have been killed, and unfortunately by the time you watch this video, that number has probably increased. Tens of thousands more are injured, as hospitals are overflowing with those in need of serious medical attention. The airstrikes have forced over 1.4 million Palestinians to be displaced from their homes. Families are finding shelter in many of the Anurwa schools where they feel safe after evacuating their homes, but even those areas are being targeted. And on top of it all, a near-total blockade on Gaza has cut off over 2 million residents from food, water, fuel, and electricity. This has drastically slowed the supply of required emergency aid arriving directly, and the people are trapped. For nearly two decades, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, widely described as the world's largest open-air prison, have been unable to move freely, access adequate health and medical treatment, or have the basic resources to feed their families. As of right now, 95% of the population in Gaza do not even have access to clean water. In one of the most densely populated areas on Earth, 1.3 million people, almost 60% of Gaza's population, are already in need of external aid to survive as a result of the blockade. Palestinians in Gaza simply do not have the resources to respond to this crisis. At times like this, aid delivery becomes difficult, but Islamic Relief is working with partners on the ground to deliver aid in Gaza, such as food packs, hygiene kits, and medical supplies to hospitals. The limited supplies we have in place for distribution are supplies that were already stored within Gaza as a result of our disaster preparedness plan. We continue to call for our humanitarian corridor to be put in place so that more aid can be delivered safely into Gaza. We will continue to deliver aid, however, this depends on the security situation as the extremely heavy and indiscriminate bombing across Gaza means there is a higher danger to staff, partners, and the communities. The situation remains extremely volatile. We are calling for an immediate ceasefire. They need your support and the Oz at this extreme time of need. Donate today at IRUSA.org.